I see you. Welcome to Hip Hop News Weekly. We talk about everything that happened in hip hop this week and try to be as respectful as possible. First things first, DJ Academics versus everybody. You hear me? Everybody. Gangsta. So if you don't know, DJ Academics has been beefing with the City Girls. He's been coming at the City Girls. And then Saucy Santana responded to Academics. Then they started going back and forth. Then Jay Critch stepped out the window. They started going back and forth. Then Glorilla stepped out the window. They started going back and forth. Like, bro, this whole week has been Academics versus everybody. I'm not going to lie. Academics versus everybody. Honestly, he definitely started this, though. He's definitely started this, so it's hard to feel sorry for him. He definitely started picking on the city girls for no reason. You feel me? Saucy Santana was protecting their friend or whatever. Him and Saucy Santana started going back and forth. Then Academics was on live stream crying. Like crying. Saying he don't want to get canceled. It's like, bro, you can't play victim. You can't play victim. You talk about everybody's personal life, make jokes about it, all of that. Now, people are going at you. You want to cry? You want to cry? Like, no, no. Man up, Academics. Man the fuck up. Man the fuck up, bro. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You feel me? You've been in this beef for mad long now. Like, you and the city girls been going back and forth for mad long. Mad long. You feel me? So, I was like, bro, stand on that. Stand on it. I ain't gonna lie. Stand on it. Don't be crying, looking for sympathy. Oh, I can't say nothing. I really can't say what I want to say. No, say it. Say what you want to say, bro. Gangster. He called Saucy Santana and said, meet him at his office or whatever. They were supposed to fight. They're never going to fight. Academics and Saucy Santana is never going to fight. Never going to fight. You feel me? But that's the, a major topic that's been going on this week. Also, we had Kasanat doing a seven-day live stream in jail. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that is way, way out of bounds. Way out of bounds. There's nothing cool about jail. There's nothing fly. There's nothing fun about jail. You feel me? There's nothing cool about it. You feel me? Him doing a seven-day live stream in jail? It's like, for what? You feel me? You got to do mad other dope shit. You could do a seven-day live stream in the Bahamas or something. To do it in jail? That shit is not cool. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know, like, what is the message? What is the message that you're trying to send by doing that? And I checked it out. It looks fake as shit. It looks super fake. The inmates look fake. The officers look fake. The prison looks fake. It all looks fake. So it's like, why are you acting like you're in jail? Like, what are you getting out of that, Kasanat? I don't get that. You feel me? To each his own. He had Krasan and Krasan Rock in there. He had Drewski pull up in there. Mad, you feel me? Mad Instagram trolls. Let's be honest. So it's like, I don't get the point of this. I don't get the point of this. Also, we've had Kodak Black at this Drink Chips interview. He had a little back and forth for 21 Savage. I like that. I'm not going to lie. I liked it that. That was a little entertaining. Kodak and Ray J supposed to throw on the gloves. That would be entertaining. That would be entertaining. This is stuff that I don't see. I don't see a fight coming from this. I don't see Kodak and 21 Savage ever fighting. I don't see Kodak and Ray J ever fighting. Um, Meek Mill said he don't, he don't want to be a rapper no more. After Kodak got a million dollars from 6 9 So it's like, uh, <clears throat> I guess you could say it's Kodak versus everybody else. But Kodak is not like academics. He's not going to go on live crying and playing victim. You feel me? He's going to tell niggas, come outside, see me when you see me. But I don't think nothing's going to come from this Kodak versus 21, Kodak versus Ray J. This is all stemming off of the Kodak Drink Champs interview. That's all. Um, last week was we um Halloween. Well, yesterday, a few days ago, was Halloween. Sexy Red was the most dressed artist. I'm not gonna lie. If you noticed that, she was the most dressed artist. The most dressed. Everybody had the sexy red wig on. Everybody had the glasses, the chain, all of that. All the females was definitely just like Sexy Red this year. She's the new hot female artist. I'm not gonna lie. And she's pregnant. And she's pregnant. So I want to see how she's gonna. Still be that while being pregnant. You feel me? And then after she give birth. After she give birth. Like, how she long is she going to sit down? Is she going to be right back outside? You feel me? 
But I feel like that's all. That's all. Kodak Black, DJ Academics. Um, yeah, I feel like that's almost it. That's almost it. That's all. The oh, I didn't even talk about this. 42 Doug is home. Yes, yes. Welcome home, 42 Doug. You hear me? Welcome home to 42 Doug. He's coming home at the perfect time, too. Because I feel like CMG is about to go on their world tour or like a little concert tour for a few cities. You got Glorilla, Mozzie, Yo Gotti, ESTG, Moneybag, all of them. And now you know they definitely going to be bringing out 42 Doug for some of these shows. I ain't going to lie. CMG is definitely looking like the best label. Black Youngster, they definitely looking like the, be the best label. I'm not going to lie. 42 Doug definitely came home at the perfect time. He just dropped the song. Shit got like 3 million views in a week. Going crazy, you feel me? Going crazy. Going crazy. Welcome home, 42 Doug. CMG's back on top.